Hey guys, this is Tim. It's New Gear Day at my house, and so I figured I'd give my first thoughts and impressions on something that not a lot of people have right now. Uh, this is actually a Les Paul copy from monoprice.com. So that's right, those guys that give you the uh, really cheap HDMI cables and really home theater stuff of all variety. Now they're getting into pro audio stuff. And so uh, I've got this and uh, I've got a couple of their microphones that'll go over in different videos, but I uh, wanted to give you a quick, just hands-on first impression um, sort of video on this particular guitar, because not a lot of people out there have really heard sound clips or anything like that of it. So this is what they call the Root 66. This is in a vintage sunburst finish. And so it's uh, you know the standard Les Paul fare. You've got you know your two humbucking pickups. Uh, you've got your kind of tunomatic bridge system here. Um, separate volume and tone controls for each pickup. Your three-way selector switch, and it's nice and clicky on this thing too. Um, and I'm surprised they actually have a proper carve top and proper binding on this, even though it goes for about a price point of $130. So uh, actually, you know, as far as the cosmetics are concerned, it's very, very good for its price point. I, I did take the pick guard off, as I tend to do on all Les Paul style guitars that I own. Um, but yeah, the, the hardware is actually really not bad. Uh, the feel is nice. Um, it does need a setup out of the box. Of course, any guitar will need a setup out of the box anyway. But in particular, the intonation was pretty far off. And I, I had to adjust it to where it was kind of tolerable to even you know, play it well enough to give my first impression on it. Um, the, the PVC nut that they give you is actually really not as bad as some of the others that I've had on cheap guitars. So I'm, I'm going to replace the nut as I do on every guitar that I, I ever own, um, but I'm probably going to hold off on it for just a little bit, uh, just because I, I can. You know, I don't necessarily need to have it in the shop right away. Um, the other thing is that the pickups are really low output, which is kind of interesting. And one other quirk of this is that it's uh, actually a bolt-on neck. So on the one hand, that makes it more repairable, but on the other hand, uh, some people just prefer a set neck or a neck through. Um, and so that's, that's something to look out for. And so um, I'll go ahead and give you some quick tone clips then. And so this will kind of be a good test of the low output pickups. I'm gonna do a high gain patch first. So it really doesn't sound too bad as far as the high gain is concerned on full chords, but it is really low output. So uh, for instance, you know, here's a clip of one of my other main guitars I use for recording on the same patch setting. But another interesting quirk about these low output pickups is that they're just not as good for that, that sort of chugging rhythm. It's, it's part of the pick attack too. The pick attack is kind of interesting on them. Uh, and it's not bad per se, it's just not good for a, a hard rock or metal style. I mean, you wouldn't want to use it for you know, anything like Lamb of God or The Haunted or something like that. Um, for example. <laughs> And you know, even as far as just, you know, that kind of chugging, uh, it's got kind of a, kind of a weird attack to it, uh, especially when compared with the other uh, guitar, which I'll play another clip of here.
Another interesting thing about these pickups and these electronics is that when you actually roll back the volume to clean it up a little bit, it really, really cuts a high end. That's not a very good thing in my opinion. So you'll hear it's almost like I turned the tone knob down too. So yeah, that's another kind of oddity there. Um, but overall, with a with a cheaper guitar anyway, or really anything really less than about seven hundred fifty to a thousand dollars, I'd be changing the pickup out anyway. I, I traditionally put Seymour Duncan's in and. So that's probably what I'll end up doing with this thing. Um, but that's just a, kind of a, a few quirks about the pickups that are currently in the guitar, uh, just in case you're the type of person who plans on sticking with the stock ones for a little while. I'll also give, give you those sound clips as, you know, just pure guitar going into my interface. So that way you can reamp it or, you know, run it through whatever, whatever rig you'd like and, and see how it sounds on, on your setup. You know, that's uh, something that is equally important is how your rig will react to these pickups. So uh, I'll include that in the description below. Now here's a quick clean patch. This is kind of a clean solo patch and um, you know it's really heavily affected so I'm not sure exactly how much you're going to get from it but hey like I said I'll include the raw file down below. Uh, check it out. But this is just on the bridge pickup first. Now both together. Now just the neck pickup. So that's an example of how it sounds on a clean patch. So, um, you know, like I said, these pickups are very, very low output. In fact, uh, I had to boost the, the volume on those clean patches quite a bit to, uh, to actually work with this guitar versus the other ones that I use. Um, not necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, I've had lower output guitars in the past and, and we are comparing it to something like a Duncan Distortion, which is really high gain stuff. So, um, but that's just something to, to look out for if you use the high gain pickups, you know, those, those types quite a bit, uh, you want to keep that in mind. And so overall, I actually really, really like this guitar, especially for the price point. Uh, it plays way above its price point. It goes for about $130 on monoprice.com, but it plays like it's five or $600, and that's, that's not a bad thing. Um, you know, I am going to change out the pickups. Sure, I'm gonna change out the nut, you know, and, and maybe some of the, maybe the tuners, you know, things like that. Uh, just those standard upgrades. And of course, I'm gonna get it a proper setup, but as it stands right now, it feels good. Uh, it plays well, it doesn't sound bad. Um, any of its limitations in output or anything like that, you know, there are ways around that. There's a gain control for a reason. So, um, you know, for the, for the type of music that I play, uh, I can certainly work around its limitations. And so I won't feel bad taking this out and, and playing the hell out of it on stage. And so I actually really like this. And I liked it enough to where I went and immediately bought another one, this one in black. So that's a good indication there. Um, these will be great project guitars. I won't feel bad about beating the hell out of them at a club. And uh, that's really what I find important, you know, in, in that sort of guitar. So um, ultimately, yeah, I recommend these. Go check them out. Um, if for no other reason to have another beater guitar around the house. So <laughs> uh, that does it for me for now. Uh, I'm Tim Lyons, signing off.